Hello and welcome, I am Xari and today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for all these designs where I just show you. And we start with some easy copper rods. Now you can make it bigger with two copper rods and a flower pot of course. You can also use candles on the rods. It just adds a little bit of the atmosphere and the surroundings. And instead of copper rods, you can also use fences or walls. And of course you can make them higher if you like. And now it's time for some flower pot designs. Now make sure you hold crouch when you want to put something in your pot, even if it's a flower pot. Otherwise it just goes into the big pot and you don't want that. I'm towering up the leaf because if I click on the bamboo it will kind of disappear and then it will place only the leaves. So with anvils it also makes quite a cute entrance. Oh, make sure you hold crouch, otherwise you open the anvil. And of course, maybe you don't think about it, but a barrel also kind of looks cute as a planter for a little tree. And you can see, even use a composter. Now also hold crouch when you place the fence. And then you can fill this up, so it actually looks it has some soil into it. Then we're going to use some trapdoors to also make it look like a planter. And of course you can use all the woods you want and all the colors. For this I just use spruce. Now make sure if you use a sapling that you will have some string above that leaf, otherwise the sapling will grow. And even with a cactus you can make quite a, a cute planter. Did you ever thought about that? And this, I really like this. If you have more of a stone build, then maybe this looks better than all the wood. And if you want to change a little bit of the leaf structure or color, you can use glow lichen on it. It gives a little bit of a glow in the atmosphere and uh, it gives also a, a pop of a different color. Now you can actually make a small tree with it. You can just add leaves, remove leaves, depends on how big your space is and how big you want your little tree. Now, I'm not going to go for a really big tree, so I'm going to remove the top and put some leaves in the front. So there it is. And here I have a design with a um, lecture. So maybe you never thought about it, but it actually can hold a pot like this. Oh, I didn't hold crowds there, so it got into the pot. Hold crouch and get the pot in there. And then you can actually. I really like the bamboo as a uh, kind of a yeah starter for the plants because it looks cute. Julia. So there you go. I have another design. Oh, with this lecture, just with just with a block of grass. And of course, I chose here for a different trapdoor, like the oak trapdoor. And make sure if you use saplings that you will have strings above it so that they won't grow. Now we're going to use some street lights or some make some lights or some plant holders as lights. I like to like to use them as street lanterns, but I don't know how you call them. So if you have a little road in your village or around your town, these can look really good. It's all for a pop of color, but also for some lights, because I really like lights in my builds. So that's why you see me using a lot of lanterns. And 
and bear bush always easy if you're low on food you can just pop by now, i thought this spot was a bit too low so i actually changed it but it was a little bit higher and here's another design but here is with the lamp the frog light in this case um where normal the grass is or the stone so it also gives light and it's kind of hidden because i do like to hide my lights in my minecraft world Currently in Minecraft, I got a series called Under the Sea. And that's why I creative uh, built an entire Under the Sea ocean theme build in a valley. So I will link the um, I will link it in my description, the playlist. So if you were wondering what I'm doing there, you can just pop over and maybe give it a look. Now this design that I'm building right now, you can of course use I use here a flower, but you also can use a light. Or you can use um, a sign on it. It's just what you want. This is a different, a little bit of a different thing. I really like to also put the lower slab on there, so I'm just gonna go in the one block and put it under there. I don't know why, it just gives it a little bit more of a finish. This is all the designs like this. Now I'm actually gonna show you some wall designs, some hanging designs on the wall. They're also quite easy. I'm just gonna show you, and we start very, very easy with just a lantern. I'm done with the lever, and make sure you have to kind of hold crouch or jump. Otherwise it won't place it like that. Yeah, you can just kind of play around with this. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to use all these kind of mechanics. I really like the, um, the, le the levers. Yeah, I think that's how I say it. It's like a holder for something. Now this is with an, uh, a hopper. Of course you need some uh, some iron for it, but I think it looks really good and I basically never see people doing it. But I think it works. And this one is a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna use like the full grass blocks with trapdoors around it. So you need a little bit of a space for that, but oh well. Like I said, you can just try it. And I really like if you uh, if I'm building with leaves or decorating with leaves, that I can hang some some leaves down. It gives some movement and flow in a build. So that is why I'm building this one. Let's just put down some leaves on the side, almost to the ground, but not all the way. And I really like that. Now this is a little bit of a different uh, play on the design, but then instead of the lever and the chains, I'm just using fences and a gate. And you don't have to use leaves if you think it's too big, because I know I got like the better leaf thing on, so they look bushier than normal. But you can also use flowers or even berry bushes. And now something for on the ground. I got a couple of designs for some planters on the ground that you can use. This is the same thing as on the wall. Then I just put it on the ground. And this is a nifty one uh, with some trapdoors. Make sure that top trapdoor is on the lower side of the block, and then you can actually put something on there. Yeah. And you can of course also use scaffolding if you like the look of it. It's more like an uh, I always think an IKEA look, but. I really do like it. And then for last, I use this quite a lot in my own builds. And if you hang the trap doors like this, the one you can put something on and the one you can hang something down from. 
And of course you don't have to use chains, you can also use an end rod. But those are a little bit more difficult to get in the beginning. And these are all the designs. I hope you liked the video. Are there some designs that you want to try in your world that maybe set it in the comments and if you're there consider to like and subscribe it's free for you but it really helps me to push out my videos and to grow on this youtube channel thank you for watching i hope you have a great day and i see you next time now i do a little bit of a flyover so you can see all the designs how they're looking like from a little bit of a distance